NASA has signed deals with four private companies for collection of lunar dust over the next three years. These deals have been struck for as low as one US dollar. What does this mean and why does NASA want to buy moon dust? Our next report finds out. Aiming for the moon is easier today than ever before. Collecting samples from the moon isn't all that big a deal either. Sample collection had made contact with NASA just awarded contracts for lunar sample collection at rock bottom prices. Deals were struck with four companies for a dollar to fifteen thousand dollars. Four private space companies from Colorado, Japan, Luxembourg and California will now be able to collect a small amount of lunar soil known as regolith. And lift off. This will be during their scheduled unmanned missions between 2022 and 2023. The ownership of the lunar soil will then be transferred to NASA. The NASA deal comes days after China's boldest lunar mission touched down on the lunar surface. Chang E5 aims to bring back material from the moon's surface for the first time in more than 40 years. Next, we will continue our lunar exploration. Its purpose is to provide better technical support for future scientific and exploration activities. Our future lunar exploration activities will be more open to cooperation with other countries. Any lesson learned about the moon is crucial for Mars exploration missions. And the red planet is what all countries are now aiming at. NASA's deal with private companies also gives a further push to private space missions that have already got a boost from SpaceX's recent blast-off from Florida. 40 seconds into flight, Dragon and Falcon 9 traveling 709 meters per second. Bureau Report, we on World is One.